The European Union suspended most of its sanctions against Belarus this week. EU foreign ministers agreed on Monday to end asset freezes and travel bans against 170 individuals, including the President Alexander Lukashenko and also three defense companies with close ties to the government in Minsk. This decision was taken in response to the release of Belarusian political prisoners last year and in the context of generally improving EU-Belarus relations. The EU ministers nevertheless retained sanctions against four members of Lukashenko's security service suspected of involvement in the disappearance of four political opponents in the year 1999 and 2000. An arms embargo also remains in place. The EU announced to continue the monitoring of the situation in democracy and human rights in Belarus. Last weekend, a historic meeting between Pope Francis and Russian Patriarch Kirill took place in Cuba. The meeting concluded with signing a joint declaration on the general relations of the churches. Patriarch Kirill announced that the Russian Orthodox Church and the Catholic Church could now work together all over the world. The Metropolitan of Minsk and Mogilev of the Roman Catholic Church in Belarus, Archbishop Tadeusz Kondrusevich, told media that relations between Catholics and Orthodox in Belarus will become more dynamic after this meeting. The representative of Konrad Adenauer Stiftung to Belarus, Wolfgang Zander, welcomed the meeting as it affects basic affairs of the two major religions in Belarus. This could support their future dialogue. Secondly, the meeting showed once again that special places like Cuba were needed to bring representatives from different sides together. Belarus had a similar intermediate position and hence could be a good place for other meetings and negotiations, Dr. Zender outlined. Masha Kutupalova for Konrad Adenauer Stiftung Belarus.